Hey guys, and welcome to my world. So yes, it is Saturday morning. I hope you're all doing well. I hope you enjoyed the Friday vlog and its little stupidity of antics. <laughs> but it is, it is Saturday morning. That means it is Comic-Con day. Amy Jo, are you ready for me? Because I am ready for you. <laughs> It's like half seven in the morning. Don't need to get there till like half nine, ten o'clock. So I'm going to get myself ready. Then we're going to head out for breakfast. Then we're going to head to the con so we know we are there. We are first and we are going to get things signed. Uh, the photo op with Amy Jo is until like four o'clock this evening. So four o'clock this afternoon. So long, long wait. But apparently at this con. They don't mind you taking selfies with them when they're signing. So, fingers crossed for a kissy con, <laughs> as some people are calling it. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited. So, I'm going to continue getting ready, listen to my music, uh, go eat, and you're going to stay with me for the rest of the day. So, guys, let's do this. Are you ready for Wales Comic Con 2018? So guys, don't worry, I'm dressed now, kinda. <laughs> but, but, haven't, haven't got a t-shirt on. And I don't know which one to choose. I brought three with me. And you're gonna have to help me, guys. You're gonna have to help me. Which one do I pick? Which one do I pick? Do I go with Buffy? Do I go with The Walking Dead Saviors? Glenn's Eye, featuring. <laughs> <laughs> or do I go with I, 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 I? Which, which, which one, guys? Which one would you go for? I'm feeling this one because I'm in black jeans. I could go with that one, all black, all black everything. Or I could go with that one because Amy Jo. But then she's going to see my sweat patches because I guarantee you I am going to sweat like a bitch. Like genuinely sweat like a bitch <laughs> especially when I'm standing opposite her I'll be like <laughs> dad where's the links at <laughs> I'm kind of feeling the Buffy one maybe take the Power Rangers one with me change into it for the photo op is that a good idea does that sound like a good idea I can't hear you guys guys let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below even though by then it'll be too late Wait, 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 which one, guys? Wh which one would you have gone for? <laughs> I'm going to go Buffy. Take Power Rangers with me, I think. I think that's what I'm going to do. Or do I go Saviors? <laughs> So we are finally here at Glin Glindua. Did I say that right, Neil? Gl Glindua University. Here for the Wales Comic Con. How you feeling? Tired. Y you meant to say, yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's how he's feeling. <laughs> I'm glad Star Lord wasn't like that. <laughs> but we're here and we are gonna go get in that big ass line that you just saw and hopefully get in really, really quickly and so I can see Amy. <laughs> Stay with us, guys. It is gonna be fun. Stay He's with so us. excited. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Cobwebs. <laughs> Cobwebs. <laughs> Mega bitch. <laughs> Mega bitch. <laughs> And guys, 
we are in. Merch ladies. <laughs> right. Where are we going first? Get the map out. Get the map out. Map. It's just a fucking list of photos. No, there's a map on the back. There's a map. We're going to there. Signings. Signings. Green, Green zone. Straight through. Green zone. For autographs. Woo! Let's go. I should have worn my bat mask. <laughs> no. <laughs> What's wrong? Jan. Jan. <laughs> So guys, we have just left the Anthony head queue. It was unsuccessful. <laughs> we didn't get in. We was queuing for about what an hour. Yeah, yeah so. roughly about an hour. Uh, we've got a virtual queue pass to go back in about an hour because they've got the Buffy panel now. Where are we heading? Erin uh, Richards. Erin Richards. Erin Richards. We're going to see her. Barbara from Gotham. Woo! And then we're gonna go see. Um, Girls, mummy. Then we're gonna go and see. <laughs> then we're gonna go and get. We're gonna go and queue for Overwatch and Amy Jo Johnson. So yes. Get her autograph. Amy Jo. That is what we're gonna do. So guys, stay with us. Let's go around Wales Comic Con. We just got out from seeing who? Erin Richards. Richards. And who's she playing? Barbara, Barbara Gordon. You was well excited. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So they both got in on the photo shoot. I will put the photo around here somewhere. Bang. Yeah, no, it was good. It was good. She's a really, really nice person. Really smiley and talkative. Just down to earth. She was lovely. And she's well. <laughs> hey, look. Sorry. Like Lightning McQueen. Oh shit! Oh, the other guy actually looks a bit like Daryl. Yeah. That's quite cool. Right, so we are now going to head over to try and find Amy Jo. Amy Jo Johnson. This kid is exciting! Let's go! Let's go! Well, did you know what it is? What I think with these eyes, cause I <laughs> <laughs> Say it. Come on, come on. Can you say it? Say what? It's a trap. Is it? <laughs> of course, it's a trap. High <laughs> five. <Brilliant. Come on. laughs> Guys, we are in the queue for Amy Joe. Yeah. And I've seen a gym up there. I'll be back in a second. <laughs> what? I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> I can see her. I can see her and uh <laughs> She's tiny. Like she might actually be shorter than you. That's a good thing, like <laughs> Is that human impossible? So, yeah. <laughs> I can see her, Dad. I can see her, Dad. I, I can see her, Dad. No, no. You're not wearing tight pants, are you? <laughs> no, that's not going to happen. Hopefully. <laughs> Pick your destiny. Beep. 
<laughs> no. <laughs> I got your white saber. Tommy, the white ranger. Oh, right, yeah, okay. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> So guys, we have just got out from seeing Amy Jo and Erin. Oh yeah, you saw Erin again. <laughs> no one cares about that. No one cares about that. We all care about Amy. Kimberly. <laughs> we are now heading over for whose photo shoot? What photo shoot is it? Alexandra Breckenbridge. Who's that? She's in The Walking Dead. Who's she playing The Walking Dead? She plays the mum of the little boy. Oh yeah, Rick's, uh, Rick's, Rick's thing on the side. And they, got, they got killed when they were trying to get escape Alexandria when yeah. it was overrun with zombies. Okay. okay. So yeah, we're going to head over there, stick with us around the con. Well, so you can look cool? No, it's just bright. I always look cool. He doesn't. He doesn't. <laughs> My dad. Well, I didn't stutter when I was talking to Amy Jo Johnson. Listen, yeah. Listen, yeah. I was, I was in awe of her presence. That's not weird. I'm joking. It was very, very nice. God, she sort of half brushed me. He's a tart. We've just done some merch shopping. Bought my first bits today. What have you bought so far? Um, I haven't actually bought any merchandise. It's purely no. been autographs. And we bought we bought a couple of prints. You'll see them later. Neil uh, met um, Alexandra Breckenridge. Yeah, and got a very cool picture. Which if he sends me a bang, I'll put here. Definitely will. Yeah, cool bit. It was it was it was epic. It was epic. <laughs> she was lovely. In fact, all the guests we've met yeah. have been good so far. Yeah. yeah. And I didn't actually know she was um, the French, French maid. Yeah. So I was just like, who was she in American Horror Story? French maid. I was like, oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> so now we're going to carry on. Apparently there's some merch in this tent over here. So we're going to carry on to see if there's any pops. There's been no pops. No, There's loads of pops. No Marvel Legends. So we're going to continue round. Hopefully find some cool bits and maybe go eat. Then we're going to go find Anthony Head again. Because we still haven't... Still haven't met him. The queue is back there and it is massive, so let's uh let's go.
so guys I've just rushed out of Amy Joe, got the pictures, boom. Dad snuck in. Shh, don't tell anyone. <laughs> I'm about to get VIP treatment to go see Anthony Head. Let's 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 go. So guys we've just got out of Anthony Head, finally got in there, finally. And they said, and there was that, no one in the queue when we got there. Yeah, no one, no, no one in the queue, no one in the queue. Straight to the and uh, he signed my pop, he signed my pop, and the lady was like, "Oh no, we can't do personalised." Uh, so that meant no quote as well. So he looked at me, and I was like, oh, "Can you just put the quote?" And then he winked. Oh yeah, I didn't see the wink. I and he wrote the quote. So shh, don't tell anyone. We got in through the back, VIP. Boom. <laughs> Pumped. Yeah. <laughs> right. I'm done. happy, I'm everything done. done. Everything, like everything, everything done, do, everything done. It's done. So, who did you see today? Uh, so, Erin Richards, which yeah. was uh, an add-on. Um, absolutely amazing, absolutely yeah, yeah, yeah. amazing. She was really good, smiley, chatty. Um, I saw Sean Pertwee. Yeah. Um, who else did we see? I saw Tracer and Mercy yeah. and Brigitte from Overwatch. Uh, Matt Ryan, Yeah. Um, a special something signed for a friend. Uh, yeah. And... Who else did we see? So you saw Sean, you got something signed for Harry because the little man. The yeah. little man's being bullied at the moment. Yeah. So uh, shout out to the little man. Lot, so yeah, Alfred cool. from Gotham. Do not has, bully has people, you Yeah, exactly. Yeah. No, Don't, bullying. no bullying. No bullying. It's, <laughs> and he, uh, it's not good. He, he signed it Master Harry, put what advice Alfred would give, so be strong, stuff like that. So yeah. that was really sweet. So that yeah, little man's going to love that. Yeah. Um, you also got to see Amy Josh. Amy Josh. Yeah, see, that was. He just snuck in straight after me. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Freebie picture. Freebie we should have done it with everyone. No, dad later on. Yeah, my dad. Because no, they like check it. What am I? Check it. Check my it dad. Before you go in. A legend. And then because they can go with me as a carers, I mean just stand there, but they yeah. can then take a picture. It's yeah. Crazy. So yeah. he got a picture. Um, I saw uh, Amy Jo Johnson. I saw Anthony Head. So who did you see? You saw I, everyone. I saw Erin Richards. <laughs> yeah. And then the absolutely amazing um, Alexandra Breckenbridge, who's now my favourite. Yeah, she was she was ever. epic. That picture TV she did. Star, yeah. She was wonderful. Yeah. And then we saw Hayley Atwell, who was pretty yeah. cool too. Hayley Atwell, yeah. Um, so we so have yeah, had a good day. We've very, had a good, very good day. day. Yeah. Good day. All in all, really good. Really good. Yeah. Really worth it. Yeah. Glad we did it. Yeah. It's been long, but yeah. Great. Now back Great. to the horror hotel. Back to the hotel. Yeah. Get our bags <laughs> and then. Hopefully, the, hopefully they're still there. Oh, God, this is over there. <laughs> yeah, Georgie's looking at them. <laughs> right, so we're gonna head back to the hotel now, guys. We'll see you in a bit. Oh, Hey guys, we're in Crew. Chester. 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 Going to Crew. Going to Crew. <laughs> and then going down to London. And we just bumped into our new travel buddy. Yes. So bang, picture here. <laughs> and we got talking. Yep. So um, yeah, we asked him how he thought the con was today and uh, You he... don't haven't told him who it was. I Is boom, it a surprise? Picture. Um, <laughs> okay, sorry, surprise. So he hasn't done these videos before, has he? <laughs> no, no, I've not been involved. Boom. Anyhow. Welcome uh, Neil. Yeah, no, no. We, uh, <laughs> we asked him how it was and uh, he enjoyed it. Um, yeah. The only thing that upset him was that not everybody got to see him. Um, he was a bit disappointed about that. He likes to make sure he can see as many people as possible. But yeah, um, yeah really nice guy. I was having to take guy. pictures. Um, he took about seven, eight, nine pictures just on the platform here uh, yeah. with, with people. So um, travel on the train with everybody. Yeah. So yeah, it was really cool. Really down to earth, really nice guy. That, that is how you should be. He's going, he's going to London. London. Oh, he's, really? yeah. he's going to London. He's going to London. So, so we may see him again. So he's coming Chester Crew. Yeah, Chester exactly. Crew. He's yeah. going to follow us. So I just gave him all the info. I just gave him all the train information. Yeah. If he's got train information, he's going to come up to you now. Yeah. As soon as you went for the train, he's going to be like, oh. <laughs> so yeah, that was pretty awesome. Uh, I, I love celebrities like that where they're just so can genuine. I, can I just bite and say, Miss Atwell, Hayley Atwell, and what's the guy's name? Is and it Moriarty? Some, yeah, Moriarty. So you know what? No, I, I, 
That's why you sent you. Come here. Oh. I knew it was Moriarty. I didn't know. Yeah, I thought you were talking about. I thought he was talking about. Well, I'm going out. No. 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 Let them have their coffee. Let them have their coffee in peace. They're off the clock now. They're off the clock now. No. Like we did with our mystery. Yeah. Which you may see more of later. Maybe. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. Guys, join us on the trip back to London. See you in a bit. Sunday morning and your boy is back from Wales so I did get back Saturday night real late Saturday night um, I was rushing around for trains being on packed trains traveling back so I didn't really have time or the sort of space to vlog um, or finish the vlog so I thought do you know what? I won't vlog I'm just gonna relax on the train ride home as much as I could um, as soon as I got in my head hit the pillow and I was bang I was conked out I was, like, I was gone <laughs> so I am awake now and we are gonna finish the vlog Wales Comic Con or what you have dubbed Kissy Con 2018 we're gonna finish it with me talking about the con um, my experience with the con everything I picked up at the con we're gonna talk about it um, yeah so Kissy Con 2018 but before we get into that there is something I quickly want to address. Now, I did address this for the vlog um, Saturday while I was in my hotel room because I got the message Saturday. Um, a subscriber basically messaged me and um, uh, I shot a video responding. Um, and basically, <laughs> yeah, I mentioned them by name and then I got to talk to them and asked if I could do a video on it. Should have asked first, to be fair. <laughs> I was I was just like no I've got to talk about this and um, they was like yeah don't mention me by name though and I was like ah <laughs> reshoot <laughs> which is fine it's fine so um, for the purpose of this little segment we are gonna address the subscriber as my man and we're gonna get a little deep guys so the message my man sent me was hey man I watch a lot of your videos thank you very much. Glad you enjoyed them. I came across one that mentioned uh, that you mentioned your struggle with depression. Now, yes, I did go through depression. I even had a little spat with suicide, stuff like that. I've come a long way. Um, so, yeah, let's let's carry on. A lot of my family suffer with depression and other mental health issues, so I've been around it a lot. Recently, and still at this moment in time, I'm struggling with bouts of anxiety and depression, and that. Video helped me a lot to see how happy and positive you are even after your struggle. Just thought I'd give you a shout. Keep up the videos, man. My man. So yes, my man messaged me. That's why I was I I I, I messaged him back. Talked to talked to my man, and I'm gonna respond by video now. I've already shot this video, so we're gonna talk about it a little quick snippet. Uh, even though you know I can waffle on. <laughs> I can waffle on for days. <laughs> but um, yes, I did struggle with um, depression. I was a very negative, um, pessimistic person. I used to be anyway, so I'm not now. Um, it basically, after my sort of little experience with suicide, basically was like, never want to be there again. And so I sort of had a new job at the time just starting out um, in the fitness industry so I was like I threw myself into that I wholeheartedly focused every bit of energy I had on that I was working early mornings late nights I was up at like 4 going to bed at maybe like 10 stuff like that wholeheartedly focused on it every time I had free time I was doing YouTube I was just I was working I worked hard guys I really did um, 
and it got me to the point where I was no longer feeling negative. Every little bit that I put in, I was getting back out in a positive outcome. And that's my advice I can give to you is just focus on something. Focus on something you enjoy. Because when you enjoy something, it makes you feel good and you will get positive outcomes. So where I was focused on my work, I was getting positive outcomes like more money. I was focusing on my clients, like just everything I could give to a client, I was giving them. So I was seeing their lives change. Um, I was focusing on YouTube. I was getting a lot more comments back about how you was enjoying the content. I was bonding with you in the comment section, seeing you comment to each other, stuff like that. It was just positive outcome after positive outcomes from just focusing on stuff. So the best advice I can give you is to focus your energy on something positive, something you enjoy. So if you have a hobby, I see a lot of people have hobbies. Like I've, I've spoke to people where I've told them, I don't really talk about YouTube at work, stuff like that. So when I've mentioned it, um, some people I've spoke to... Um, in the gym, stuff like that, they ask me what my hobbies are, I'm like, oh, I'll do YouTube, they're like, that's sad, or stuff, um, I'll buy toys, happily buy toys, and people will be like, that's weird, and everything, uh, but they're the type of people, that they're, they're just different, which is fine, so, if you've got a hobby that people don't, sort of, associate with, or they've got, sort of, this stereotype for, where, like, nerds are just, a bit weird we're not <laughs> we're not <laughs> well we can be <laughs> i can be <laughs> but just don't let anyone take away what you enjoy focus on what makes you happy because my my ultimate goal in life is to be happy and anything that is going to get me more towards that goal or make me even happier than i am now then i go after it and anything that doesn't i'm in that point in my life where if something's not making me happy it's gone like that like that it doesn't matter what it is i've cut friends off i've cut family off it's just i'm at that point in my life where i know that anything that's detracting from what i want or anything that is bringing this sort of negative energy or drama into my life it's gone and i'm so much better off for it i really am so i've i've yeah i've got rid of a lot of people but it's left me with my blessings because I've got two amazing friends, Harry and Adam, you love them, you love them. Um, two amazing friends, I've got an amazing family that care for me, I've got two amazing brothers, my mum, my dad, I get on a lot more with my dad now than I ever did in my life, so that is a really something that has changed in my life anyways, in a positive way, so I'm super happy and blessed to even have that. Um, I've got an amazing girl now. Yes, you boys got a girl. <laughs> Surprise. <laughs> I was going to save that for April pickups, but bam, there you go. <laughs> April pickups, I got a girl. <laughs> but yeah, all you need to do is just focus on what makes you happy. Count your blessings because when, when you're sort of in that headspace of anxieties, depression, I know exactly what it's like. You feel like there's... There's nothing good around you. You feel worthless at times. I've felt my fair share of feeling worthless. And it is, it's something I never want to feel again. And it breaks my heart to know that people I know are going through it. And people message me about it. And it breaks my heart to know other people are going through it. But you need to know you're not alone. You're not alone. I've been there. Other people are there where you are. And you need to talk about it. You need to talk about it. Even if it's you can message me, bam, Snapchat, bam, Instagram, message me. I'm happy to give you advice or just be there to listen. Because I've had my fair share where I felt people aren't there to listen to me. And I felt alone. Um, I used to have a big group of friends. And even though I was never alone, in that group of friends, I felt like I was. And stuff like that, you, you just need to take a step back, take a breather refocus your energy on what makes you happy and just go after that that is my best advice just know that if you start going after what you want in life uh, you start focusing on the good and the positive instead of the drama or the negative or letting that drama just consume you in that negativity consume you in you'll be stuck there you will um unless you get that turning point like i had where i was like i never want to feel that again and it just comes down to you 
So I, I will happily respond to you. No, that it doesn't last. It really doesn't. They say time heals all wounds and it's such a cliche and I don't really believe it does. I really don't. It's sort of the pain never really goes away or the experience never really goes away. The pain does, the experience doesn't. You carry it with you for the rest of your life. There is stuff that I've been through that I just, they stay with me. There's times in my life where I will think, I'll think about it. It will just pop up in my head and I'm like, oh yeah, I went through that. Stuff like that. It stays with you for the rest of your life, but you learn to cope with it and you sort of grow in a way you get stronger and it grows you as a person or you have to let it grow you as a person. There is, there is, I've been through being cheated on, I've been through suicide, all that sort of stuff. And I use it as a positive now because I know that I'm never going to do that to someone. I'm never going to put someone through that. Never, ever going to let someone experience that sort of pain. All that sort of stuff. I know what it's like so I can emphasize, uh, em emphasize, <laughs> empathize with someone, sympathize with someone on a whole deeper level. And it's such a blessing to take that as a lesson or a life lesson, life experience and be able to put my energy into it to talk about it with you guys to help if there's anything I can tell you coming from my experiences that it doesn't last and you just need to focus on what makes you happy you really do and just anxiety, depression you may feel alone but you're not you're really not alone and just, just please, please talk to someone or do what makes you happy. Just refocus, recalibrate that mindset. Get out of the mindset of that negative energy and just put all your energy that you have, and it will be hard at first, it will be, into something positive and you will see, you will see your life change. It, you really will. And I am blessed that how my life has changed and I am I'm happy to share that with you. So, yeah, my man, please know it doesn't last. Um, please know that I am there if you want to message me, talk to me. Any of you want to message and talk to me, I am happy to do so because every everyone needs that, I believe. And sometimes when you're in that mindset, you don't feel like you have that sort of blessing to go and talk to someone about it. And sometimes you don't want to talk to the people that you're friends with or your family because you feel like you'll be judged or you're letting them down in a way. I know, I know that feeling. I know that feeling. I've been there. And please know that they, they won't. They won't. And if anyone does judge you or feel negative towards you for opening up about your feelings, get rid of them. Get rid of it. If, even if it's family or even if it's just for a period of time where you take a step back, and just for a breather, just so you can get yourself straight and right and healthy and in that right frame of mind, do it. Best advice, that is the best advice I can give, is that you need to focus on yourself. You need to be selfish. In a way, I became very, very selfish where I focused on myself. But at the end of the day, if you can't focus on yourself and get yourself right, then everything outside, all the things you care about, family, friends, is not going to be right because you're going to burn yourself out for them and you're going to feel very negative inside you and it's just it's going to it's going to it's just going to get you to a point in a life in your life that you don't want to be at. Um, so yeah, focus on yourself. Focus on yourself, focus on the positive and just go after what makes you happy in life because you've got one life. You've got one life. One life and you just You've got to, you've just got to be happy for it. That's the way I see it anyways. You've got to enjoy it and make the most of your life. So, yeah, know it doesn't last and just, just know you're not alone. So, yes, KissyCon 2018. Let's talk about it. Right, the hall. So, the hall isn't that big. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. The con itself was more focused on the, um, the celebrities than it was any sort of merch. So you had some merch stalls, most of the merch stalls were sort of Funko based, uh, or t-shirts, stuff like that. So you had sort of, it was set in a university, you'd go through and then you'd come out and you had the gaming area, 
Um, you had the signing area for the Buffy lot. Then you had a big tent with uh, merch stalls. Then you had another hall with merch stalls in the middle. And then all the way around it was like signings of all the other celebrities. And then in the back hall was the photo ops. So there was a lot of halls around. But there wasn't a lot of merch. So this con, I'm going to go out on a limb and say it wasn't as fun as MCM. MCM had a lot of stuff to do. A lot of merch, a lot of stalls that you could go around and just browse. A lot of things you could take part in or just um, so yeah, gaming, all that. This had gaming, but I didn't go in there. Um, it had gaming. Uh, MCM has other stuff you can do. Uh, photo opportunities, stuff like that, little silly things you can just do around the con. So for me, MCM is more fun. This was a good con, but it was more focused on just autograph signings, photo op uh, opportunities with those people. So it, I highly recommend you go to this con because it was a good con. So if there's any special guests you want to go to, I'd re highly recommend you go to it. So I will be going to Wales Comic Con again, um, depending on the special guests, but. The haul wasn't a real lot to buy, um, but yeah, I did <laughs> I did a lot at the con, and we're going to talk about it. So, the con, the reason I went to the con, <laughs> we all know the reason I went to the con, was for the Pink Ranger. We'll get to that. <laughs> now, let's get into the haul. So, I stopped off on the way, so you've, you've seen the Friday vlog you would have saw this. Now, I stopped off on the way. I stopped off in uh, in uh, London. I went to Forbidden Planet. Now, this, there were, I had to deal with the right jobs worth. I'm not going to lie. I got to Tottenham Court Road, and from Tottenham Court Road, I had to go to Euston, where I was meeting my dad and Neil. And I thought, you know what? I've got like an hour to kill. I'm going to go out, walk across to Forbidden Planet, and then come back. Because it took like five minutes on the tube to get to Euston from Tottenham Court Road. So I was like, yeah, I'll go kill some time. Got there and my ticket wasn't working. And I was like, oh, fuck's sake. Went to the lady and I was like, can you just let me out so I can pop out to get a coffee? <laughs> and then come back in because I've got some time to kill. She was like, no, I can't do that. And I was just like, I'm going to come back. Like, can you not? And she was like, no. So I got my oyster out. I was like, fine. So I had to pay an extra five pounds <laughs> just to go out and come back in. But... It was worth it because I went to Forbidden Planet, didn't get coffee. <laughs> I went to Forbidden Planet and I picked up something for the little man. Now the little man, I asked the little man what he wanted from the con. And they had no Marvel Legends at the con, they had none. So I'm glad I picked this up at Forbidden Planet. Got it for £20 and it is the Avengers Infinity War, Captain America, it is Old Man Cap. I got it for the little man. And I was going to get it signed by um, Hayley Atwell saying... Um, um, oh, what's the quote she says in the uh, the dream sequence about that dance? Are you ready for that dance now? Because I'm hoping now. I'm hoping Cap dies in Avengers: Infinity War. Whoa! Did you hear Paul? No, Paul did not just say that. Yes, I did. I'm hoping if there's anyone that's going to take Captain America out, <laughs> I'm hoping it is the big bad that we have built to over the last ten years. So, if Cap. No spoilers, please, but, yeah, I was going to get it signed like that, and then I was like, no, because then Harry will open it. <laughs> and I don't really get Marvel Legends signed. I get my pop signed, so I was like, nah, I won't get that signed. So, uh, got that for the little man. Um, and talking about Cap dying and everything, Neil had a photo op with uh, Hayley Atwell, and he was holding a sign <laughs> saying Cap will be with me soon. And Sam... <laughs> If you're watching this, you're probably hating that right now. Like, no, fuck that. <laughs> Dickheads. <laughs> it was funny, though. It was funny, though. But the other bits I picked up from Forbidden Planet, I picked up two pops. Now, I thought Hazamatron didn't have this one. But he does. So I picked up Whis from Dragon Ball Z, but he's got it. Dickhead. <laughs> why are you going to buy your pops for, man? But in this Dragon Ball Z Super, um, oh no, it's not Dragon Ball Z, it's Dragon Ball Super. Okay, Dragon Ball Super, <laughs> he's sat there right now going, dickhead. <laughs> you can get Future Trunks, Goku Black, Hit, which is the one he's after, Zamasu, Whis, Super Saiyan, Future Trunks, and Gotenks. 
Now here's after hit, so if you can see hit or you see hit out, let me know, uh, send it to me and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, he's got weak, so great. <laughs> you got nothing now. <laughs> and the last thing I picked up was another chase. Now they had chases in Forbidden Planet, it, they had the 8-bit the 8-bit Demogorgon, they had a Porg, they had Krampus, they had something else, and they had this one, and the one I got is Sub-Zero, so I have got Scorpion back there, thank you Hazamatron for that, but I got Mortal Kombat X Sub-Zero because I really do like the fact that he has got the ice in his hands. Super, super like that. So, yeah, I got that limited edition chase for twenty two ninety nine. Pop Games 251. So, super happy to have that in my collection. And that is everything I got from Forbidden Planet. Now, from the actual con, the bits that I got was... Well, this wasn't actually from the con. This was from Tesco's across the road from my hotel. <laughs> I picked up Thanos... Um, the Thanos quest. Now, I was looking through it and I was like, that looks like a good book. I'm into Thanos. I'm going to get it. It was 9 99 So I picked up the Thanos quest. Before the Infinity War, there was the Thanos quest. Six gems of unimaginable power. And the madman who would wield them. Super excited to read that, so if you have read that, let me know what you thought about it down in the comment section below. I picked that up from Tesco's Extra across the road from my hotel. Uh, the next bits that I got, so I got, obviously, the Pink Ranger picture. We'll leave that there. Now, I got other bits. We got a pop. I got Lord of the Rings Aragorn. So, from this wave, this is wave two. In the Lord of the Rings, I got Aragorn. You can get Merry, Treebeard, Pippigrin, <laughs> Pippin, <laughs> Gollum, and Lurtz. So that's the wave on the back. I was going to get Lurtz as well, but then I thought, nah, Strider. Strider's my favourite. I'm going to get him. Um, Gollum looked really cool as well, but the chase is better. I haven't seen the chase. Uh, Pippin's cool, but I don't want to start collecting them. So I got Aragorn. Who is my favourite character in Lord of the Rings? Who's yours? Let me know down in the comment section below. Well, I've got loads of Lord of the Rings popping now. I've got Saruman, Gandalf, Balrog, Nazgul, Sauron. Might as well get them all, right? <laughs> now, the other things that I got was all artwork. So, first bits, I got two sets of these. One I got for my dad as a little treat. And these are from, what's his name? No, that's not who they're from. He did the other one. I can't remember the artist that did these, but what I got was a set of ten little postcard uh, artwork pieces. So we have got Two Face, Nightwing, and Robin, the Riddler, the Joker. Poison Ivy, Batgirl, The Dark Knight himself, of Batman, Catwoman, Mr. Freeze, my personal favourite, Harleen Quinzel, Harley Quinn, there we go, so I got those DC animated, Batman animated uh, artworks, I think it was £5 for all ten. Uh, so I got two sets, gave them to, uh, the other one to my dad for his little joker corner. He was super happy with them, by the way. <laughs> so the next bit of artwork I got is from an artist called Paul Shipper. Now, he has done a lot of big things, um, but if you don't know him, he has done stuff for, like, Empire Magazine. So he did the memorial for Carrie Fisher of, like, the print loads of princess layers over the cover and everything, which looked really nice. He had artworks for that. He did the... Uh, the 95th birthday year edition uh, icon celebrating Stan Lee's 95th birthday, which is the print I got. And he wrote Excelsior, Excelsior, and signed it. So that is the artwork I got from Paul Shipper, which is super, super cool. 
I really, really like that. So nice. So I've got that artwork there. Now, the last bit of artwork I've got, I've got the Certificate of Authenticity there, which is cool. And it is a big metal aluminium print painting. And it is sexy as hell. So you may have seen it in the vlog previously at a stall. There was loads of prints. There was a baby group one. My dad really wanted to get the baby group, but he was like, nah, I'm not. <laughs> not going to get it. Now, I got this one. Are you ready? Have a guess which character you think it is. Have a guess. Have a guess. I'll give you a clue. There is a pop of him in the background <laughs> that some <laughs> that, that 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 narrows it down right <laughs> it is hello georgie <laughs> it is pennywise the dancing clown how cool is that artwork guys look at that so the balloon has burst pennywise is there how sexy is that so i picked that up this i paid 35 pound for which is super cool. It comes with the um, adhesive metal clip thing for the back. So hopefully I can get up there next to the pops. I thought that is going to look sexy in the background. 35, I've got number 10 of 200. So there is only 200 of these in the world. i got number 10. It is sexy as hell. <laughs> so got that there. Now obviously the last things I was doing at the con was uh, meeting people that I wanted to meet. So I did book in to see Amy Jo. I booked to see um, James Masters and Juliet. Uh, have a duo uh, photo shoot with them. I was going to get them both to bite my neck. But James Masters cancelled last minute. And I was like, ah, oh, damn. <laughs> but then, but then Anthony Head appeared. And he was like, don't worry. The Watcher has got you. <laughs> so... I was like, bam, yes, I'm going to go meet Anthony Head. So the first thing we did when we got to the con, we queued up at the Buffy panel. And we was there for a good hour, and the queue was not going down. We was right at the front. The queue wasn't going down. And we was like, oh, fuck's sake. <laughs> Never going to get to meet him. So basically, you had three of them in there. You had, um, no, you had four of them in there. You had Juliet. You had Mark. You had Claire. Did Claire play? Was it Claire that played Glory? Claire and Anthony. And Anthony's queue was huge inside, and then we was outside, and we was right at the door, and they was going to let us in next. And everyone, they kept saying, oh, is anyone for Claire, anyone for Juliet, anyone for Mark? And people were going, yeah. And they'd go in, meet Juliet, and then they'd jump straight into the Anthony head queue after they'd met the other ones that they were going to meet. Which I didn't think was very fair, they should come back out and queue and go in, because um, some people, like myself, was just there to see Anthony. Um, and so they ended up giving us a ticket, a virtual queue ticket, and they was like, bring it back in about an hour because they're going to have to go do their panel now, um, and then their photo ops. Um, so bring it back in about an hour or an hour and a half, and we'll get you straight in. I was like, oh, cool, okay. So we went around the con. Uh, my dad met the voices of Bruguette from Overwatch, if I'm saying that right, Tracer from Overwatch and Mercy from Overwatch. He met them, got them signed and everything. He was super happy with that. He also went and met Sean, Sean something per tweet? Per, I don't know what his name is. Alfred. Met Alfred. He met, um, who is it plays Constantine? Who plays Constantine? God damn it, I can't remember. I didn't like the show. <laughs> But he met him as well, and then he met Erin, who plays Barbara uh, in Gotham. Uh, she was lovely, to be fair. She was really nice. She spoke Welsh as well, which we wasn't expecting. She was proper, proper Welsh accent. So that was weird. They, uh, Neil and my dad had a photo op with her. Um, Neil let my dad jump in with that, because Neil was having the photo op. And then uh, they met Alex, Alexandra... Brooklyn Bridge or something like that <laughs> she was in The Walking Dead and American Horror Story now I'll, 
I asked who she was in The Walking Dead, and they was like, oh, it was that uh, blonde woman that Rick gets with in Alexandria. And I was just like, oh yeah, Rick's bit on the side, <laughs> who gets bitten after a few episodes and didn't have much to do. And she even has said that to us when we was there talking to her. She was like, yeah, didn't really have much to do in that show other than die. <laughs> Hopefully she just got eaten, she didn't turn into a zombie. But Neil, um, Neil did an epic picture. Now Neil um, got an injury on his leg, so he got his leg up and everything opened up the injury and she was there like she was biting the big gouge out, which was super epic. Best picture I've ever seen from a con, so bam, if he sends it to me, I will put it here. Um, it was it was a nice picture and he even got, went and got it signed and was talking to her, so that was really cool. And I didn't know this. Now, I was like, oh, yeah. I was, I was talking to Neil. I was like, who is she from uh, American Horror Story? What one was she in? He was like, the first one. I was like, who did she play? He was like, the French maid. And I was just like, what? No, <laughs> really? She was the French maid. And I didn't, I had no idea. <laughs> I was there talking to the French maid from American Horror. My God. <laughs> I should have caught on sooner, but she did not have the red hair, and I was just like, damn it! <laughs> but yeah, we met them, um, which was super, super cool, and then obviously, uh, we still hadn't met Anthony Head, and I had my, um, I got in the queue, and I was just waiting in the queue for Amy Jo, and I was in that queue for a while, um, but I finally met her, finally met her, and I got her to sign my pink Power Ranger pop, boom, there it is, she signed it in pink. It says, Paul, it's Morphin Time, Pterodactyl, hashtag KissyCon2018, <laughs> signed by Amy Jo Johnson. So we have got that. I've got that memory forever. So that is super cool to have. And obviously, you guys want to know if I got that kiss. Well, I did. <laughs> I did get her autograph on a restraining order. <laughs> no, I didn't. But I... I got um I got an air kiss, so I'll put the boom video here. Um, super super cool to just have that experience. I was so nervous. I'm proper like sort of shut down. And my dad did we were talking, told her the story, and she was just like, "I can't kiss you on the cheek, but I'll blow you one." So she blew me a kiss. And everything, and then I went and had the photo opportunity with her. Um, photo opportunity with her as well. So I still hadn't met Anthony Head. We'd got the signature, did that little snippet video, went around looking at the merch, uh, had something to eat, and I still hadn't met Anthony Head. And I was just like, oh, I don't think I'm going to get to meet him. And he got to the time for my photo opportunity with Amy Jo, and it was, I had to make a choice. I was just like, oh, I've got to choose between the photo op with Amy Jo or me, Anthony Head, and I was just like, I've got to go Amy Jo. I paid 30 quid for it, and I need that picture. I just want that picture. So I went and had my photo op with Amy Jo. Boom, there I am, holding KissyCon 2018 with the Pink Ranger, my childhood crush. So I've got that photo forever there. Super, super happy to have that. And then I was just like, my dad was in there with me, and he was standing there. And we got to the point, we'd been in so many photo ops that we realised that they check tickets as you go in. And then once you're in the big photo opportunity, they didn't really check. So my dad jumped in the queue with me, and he got a picture straight after. <laughs> so he got a free picture, bang, I'll put it here. <laughs> Legend. We should have done that with every photo opportunity and we would have seen everyone so yeah <laughs> that happened and then we came out and we was just like oh gotta wait for the photos and they were still coming out with um other celebrities photos and stuff so i was like right i will wait here and get the pictures take my pop go over there see if you can get signed by anthony head and everything and he was like right okay and he went over there and about 10 minutes later, I get a call, and he's like, Paul, get over here now. They're going to give you the VIP experience. They're going to let you in through the back, front of the queue, to meet Anthony Head. And I was like, I still haven't got the pictures. Hold up, hold up, I'm coming. <laughs> I was waiting there, I got the pictures, and then I legged it over. Dad's calling me again, and I'm like, decline, I'm running. <laughs> I'm coming, waving at him. I'm like, I'm here, I'm here. They let us in and everything. I finally... 
finally met Anthony Head and he signed my Giles Pop. And now I put it down on there and I had a sticky note on there of the quote I wanted it to say. And his publicist was like, oh no, we can't personalise them. Which I thought was kind of weird. <laughs> I was just like, surely personalising makes it not valuable anymore. So you can't really sell it on. And that's what I was thinking in my head anyway. But apparently they couldn't personalise it. So he didn't put Paul on it or anything. And he was going to sign the top. And I was like, oh no, can you sign the plastic? So he signed the plastic. And I was like, you know you said you couldn't personalise it. But could you put the quote on it? And his publicist was just like, no, we're not allowed. And then he was just like, he looked over from his publicist, looked at me. Gave me a wink. <laughs> and put the quote. So the quote says, a slayer slays a watcher. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> Signed by Anthony Head, Giles himself, the man, the watcher, Ripper, signed my pop. Now, talking of that, I didn't think I was actually going to meet Anthony Head, really. And uh, I got to talk to him at the, at the thing after he signed it a little bit. And then I went, I was like, ah, oh. finally met him. And then <laughs> we're travelling back. We've got on the train and say I'm like in this corner here. He's like maybe at that poster a little bit further. They're just chilling on my train. And I was like, oh my God. <laughs> if I hadn't met him, I could go up to him right now on the train. And I, would have, I didn't have to queue. I just didn't have to queue. He was travelling back to London. We stopped off in Chester. We had to change trains. And he's got off. We've got off. <laughs> we got talking to him at the train station. They're in a bang. I got a picture. We're talking to him at the train station. We travelled back with him. <laughs> and then, um, oh, what's his name? Thingy was sat in Costa <laughs> um, uh, with uh, Hayley Atwell and, um, oh, who plays Moriarty? Andrew Lee Scott? Andrew Lee Scott, I think his name is. And they were just chilling in Costa, so we got the train back with them. <laughs> so bang, there's a picture. Hayley Atwell didn't want to get in the picture. <laughs> But um, she was like, no, I'm done for the day, I can't. <laughs> I was like, that's cool. So Andrew Scott jumped in the picture as well, and bang, we got on the train with them. That was a surreal, super, super surreal experience there. So yeah, I met Anthony Head three times, <laughs> which was super cool. Travelled back to London with him, which was super, super epic. So yeah, I got everything we wanted to do that day, we got signed. It was a super, super experience. So happy to have that experience. Anthony Head made my weekend, he really did, he was a legend, super super fun. Him, and um, I say this all the time when I talk about signings at cons, but him and John Noble are the best two I have ever met at cons, so if you ever get the chance to go and meet them, if you're fans of them, please know that they are genuine, genuine down to earth people, they were super, super cool, so super happy to have that, super happy to have met my childhood crush, bang and Get that air kiss, Paul. God, the, the little boy in you right now is like, yeah! <laughs> super, super happy to have that. So I had a super, super weekend. I hope you've enjoyed the stupid Friday vlog. I hope you've enjoyed the Saturday slash Sunday vlog on the haul. So let me know your favourite bits that I picked up at this con down in the comment section below. If you were at the con, let me know your experience, who you met, um, what you picked up. Let me know how you found it, if it was your first time. Um, yeah, let me know all your thoughts on the Wales Comic Con down in the comment section below and be proud of me for going all the way to Wales and not making one sheep joke. <laughs> one of my subscribers did, didn't they Darren? <laughs> but I didn't, I was a grown up, I was mature, to be fair I didn't see much sheep. <laughs> but I had a super super fun weekend. Um, so thank you to my dad, thank you to Neil for coming along with me just so I could meet Amy Jo. Super, super surreal experience and I'm glad that I shared that with you guys and you, you guys made my weekend know that. Um, you really did so it was super fun and we're thinking about going to uh, the December one. They do it in December as well. So we're thinking about going there because apparently the two big guests at the moment are Ron Perlman and Jack Barrowman. Is that Captain Jack or Chris Barrowman? What's his name? John Barrowman. John? Captain Jack Harness. Him. <laughs> They're going to be there. So we're thinking about doing the Wales Comic Con again. Let me know if you're thinking about it. If you went to this one, let me know all your thoughts down in the comment section below. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed the video. 
Um, I've got to go edit it now, so I'm going to spend my Sunday editing the Friday vlog, the Saturday Sunday vlog slash haul, and then I've still got to edit that Hot Topic bag. So if you want to see that Hot Topic bag unbagging, then bang, hit subscribe, stay tuned for that. Next month we have got MCM London. I am going on the Friday and the Saturday, so uh, or hopefully on the Friday. So I've got I've got to work it out. I've got to work it out. So uh, bang, if you're going to MCM, come see me there. Hit subscribe, stay tuned for that vlog if you like this vlog. And guys, as always, thanks for watching and take care. See you later! Oh, so sexy, so cool, so cool. Guess who's back, 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 back again, again, again. <laughs> guys, a big thank you to watching the video. If you liked what you've seen and you're not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button, give me a thumbs up. And in the meantime, why not check out some of my other videos? You've got one here, you've got one there, and you've got one there. Guys, go check out those videos, hit subscribe, and see you in the next video.